lot of transport, it's actually the exact opposite. You don't want it to be spontaneous. You don't want it to all of a sudden be in another part of the country than it's expected to be. They need predictability and they need to make sure that it actually arrives on time. Just this fall, we were actually the first to get a uh, permit to drive on public road in the U.S. Uh, without the safety driver in, in the vehicle. And so, of course, that was a huge milestone for, for us, but I think also for the industry to say that this is uh, considered to be safe enough to go on public roads. What we believe is when you start to introduce autonomous is that you will still want to have a human in the loop. So we will still have remote operators or op um, remote monitors, even though you, you know, you're not directly driving the vehicle, but just to make sure that everything is, is happening as it should be. And what this gives an opportunity for is for drivers to work in, a, in another type of setup. So it, it could be closer to home, it could be like more like normal office hours, and it's, it just becomes a completely new type of work. And there's so many benefits to this new type of position, and that's also what we've been seeing when we've been doing surveys, that a lot of more people find this job more attractive. So we're very excited about that and starting to roll out that in, in a bigger scale as well. Thank you.